I'm Dana. And today we are fulfilling an energy independence dream of mine. We are mounting this Victron inverter in the garage. Let's get started. Okay, so this inverter, apart from being one of the heaviest uh, things that I've ever bought, is a really cool piece of equipment. Uh, this inverter is capable of both on-grid and off-grid. So that means that when you have batteries connected to it, uh, you can have um, critical loads connected directly to the unit that will be like uninterrupted. So meaning if you have grid power, uh, it will pull power from the grid and feed your equipment. And in case you lose grid power, it will then take energy from the batteries. You can also run it as a completely standalone thing, like in an off-grid solution. And you can have like multiple of these connected together to create your own three-phase networks. So that's super cool. And Batrium has the native integration for these units, so it should be really easy to connect these two together and have them working really well together. But enough about me talking, uh, let's head out to the garage and actually mount this on the wall. <laughs> Wow, this thing is blue. Okay, so now when we have it up on the wall, we can do this super satisfying. Ooh, peel. Okay, so now when it's up on the wall, uh, I can just get to making more of these uh, battery uh, connector uh, wires. And uh, I'm also gonna be mounting a uh, AC socket uh, right beneath it, so we can actually test it out. This is super exciting. So, uh, time lapse time. Okay, so the temporary DC cabling is set up. I still need to add uh, some red color coding to the positive one. And you can see that the negative one uh, goes to the shunt. And the positive one I run in a conduit all the way over to the uh, positive terminal here. But uh, I still need to add fuses around here, uh, both for positive and negative, but um, they have not arrived yet. So I will do that maybe tomorrow, but I'm just gonna temporarily test it out without fuses and I will disconnect it right after. But now uh, let's add the AC sockets. AC socket and this is, uh, well of course I still need to clamp this down, but uh, before I go and make this uh, install like super permanent, I would really like to just fire it up and uh, take a look at how it's performing. So um, I think we're gonna do just that. Hang on, I got a perfect thing for this. Wow, I'm drinking coffee made from a battery right now. Like, how cool isn't that? Uh, there's still lots to be done here, still. Uh, we need to add uh, fuses in every end, and we need to add contactors so that either the inverter or BMS can turn off the battery in case it uh, goes undercharged or overcharged. And uh, we still need to add communication, can communication between the inverter and BMS so they can talk and uh, communicate state of charge limits, etc. 
So still lots to do, but this basic setup now at least has uh, emergency power right here available directly from a battery. We still haven't hooked up uh, grid voltage to this inverter yet because uh, my power distribution panel here isn't ready yet. So we can only uh, discharge batteries at the moment. We, can, we cannot charge them from the grid, but that is coming later. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video. Um, if you like this type of content, uh, consider becoming a patron. You can get all cool stuff like this uh, mug, for instance. Sneaky. Yeah, so, see you in the next one.